Hey guys, what is up? This is Mr. A. Krizzy here, and happy St. Patrick's Day. I got my green shirt on for St. Patrick's Day. Got my Under Armour Clover shirt that I that I wear on St. Patrick's Day. And, and yesterday I watched two movies related to St. Patrick's Day. I watched The Boondock Saints, which I which I thought was pretty awesome. I, I would give that four and a half out of five. But for today's movie review for St. Patrick's Day. I, I, w I wasn't really sure if I was going to review this movie today, since it would be fitting enough for, to review this film on St. Patrick's Day. But of course, every year on St. Patrick's Day, my, my parents, like my mom and dad, would usually go out to do something fun for St. Patrick's Day, including like getting a shamrock shake from McDonald's. And another reason why I wasn't, I wasn't too sure about reviewing this film today is because I have, I have a scratchy throat, by, by the way, just, just to give you all a heads up. I have a, I have woke up with a scratchy throat and I, I had two I had two drinks of, of tea and honey this morning so just want to let you all know and just man, and just say, and my apologies and excuse my 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 raspy voice a little bit but I think it should be fine so and I, and I think I should I think I'm feeling comfortable enough to review this film this year and plus I've been meaning to watch this movie every year on St Patrick's Day like like in the past St Patrick's Day years like I, I've been meaning to watch this film. But yesterday, I finally got my chance to watch this film. So, this is actually a comedy horror film called Leprechaun. And yes, this review is on Leprechaun. Leprechaun is about like Daniel Grady, who played by Shay Duffin, who who basically like Daniel Grady basically steals a hundred gold coins from a leprechaun played by Warwick Davis. Well, and, and of course, and of course, he 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 does so while on vacation in in, in Ireland. The leprechaun f f follows him home, but Dan lo lo looks looks the the, the lo but he basically like locks the the murderous the murderous midget in a crate, like, and then ten years later, like we 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 basically have J D Redding and and his daughter like like Tori played by Jennifer Aniston, and 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 they basically rent rent the home property for for the summer. When their new neighbors accidentally releases the leprechaun, he goes on 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 a murderous rampage to reclaim his gold. And you know, and and for, and of course, you know, like like, and, and all the main characters, the main human characters, they have to do whatever they can to try and stop the leprechaun from killing people, and you know, just like, yeah. So, like I said, I've been meaning to watch this movie for years. I tried, I tried getting my chance to watch this movie on on St. Patrick's Day in the past couple years, but but then I decided to watch, I decided to watch this film on Peacock yesterday, and and for what it is. This is actually a pretty solid horror film from 1993. Yeah, I I actually kind of enjoyed this movie. I I thought it was I thought it was a pretty fun a fun St. Patrick's Day horror flick. And there are some times in this movie where it does feel like a comedy while at the same time a fantasy comedy horror film. But of course, we when you when we get to the horror aspects, that that's basically when like when the leprechaun like like kills these people because he 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 because the leprechaun's trying to get his gold, like he's like he's trying to find like a he's trying to find like a hundred gold coins. And yeah, and yeah, and this movie, this this movie even spawned a bunch of sequels as well, but neither of which were as good as the first Leprechaun, which I'm not really planning on watching the sequels anytime soon. But the Boondock Saints actually has one sequel, which came out in 2009. But I'm probably not going to watch that today. Maybe maybe another time. Doesn't matter if it has to be on St. Patrick's Day or not, because I only watched the first Boondock Saints film after watching Leprechaun. And like I said, I would get I would rate the Boondock Saints four and a half out of five, and yeah. But this but this review is mainly focused on Leprechaun, yeah. And I gotta say the the kills in this film I I thought were were pretty were pretty were pretty decent in terms of a '90s horror comedy film. That that's that's around St. Patrick's Day, and I gotta say the performances in this movie I I think were good. I think the two best performances out of all out out of all of them in this film. Are definitely Warwick Davis and Jennifer Aniston because Jennifer Aniston is always a always a fun actress, and you know my mom loves her and yeah, yeah Jennifer Aniston was great in the film. Warwick da Warwick Davis was also was also pretty was also great in this film as the villain like the leprechaun in this film. And yeah, and so and yeah and there are some and of course the movie's not even that long it's only like an hour and 30 minutes so it's, so it's basically like 90 minutes but sometimes the sometimes I, some, but sometimes the pacing can like, the pacing got got a little slow during the last act of the film but then it picks up when they when they finally like like yeah because 
I'm sure a lot of you guys have already seen the film, but uh, do some of you guys even care about spoilers? I don't know. I, I, I'm probably not going to risk it this time, but yeah, whatever. So what, all that matters is, is that this movie wa, wa, was, was pretty solid and I enjoyed it. I thought it was pretty good. So overall, Leprechaun was a pretty good film. And I'm going to give Leprechaun three and a half out of five stars. So yeah, if, if you haven't seen Leprechaun, then I say this is a good watch. And there you have it, guys. That's going to be it for my movie review on Leprechaun. And that's going to be it for this video. So make sure to give this video a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel if you haven't yet. And as always, thanks for watching. And until next time, this is Mr. A. Crazy saying goodbye, everybody. And that's about it. And happy St. Patrick's Day.